Welcome back. Our 25 Sports Prep Rally Team of the Week is the Illini Bluffs softball team. Uh, Monday night, the Tigers were super in winning the Springfield Super Sectional. First batter of the game, first inning, Addie Welsh, a double. That got things started. Kirsten McCoy, the winning pitcher, would then drive her in right here. And the rally hat gang from Illini Bluffs cruises to a victory and advances to the softball state finals. Yeah, Illini Bluffs two years ago finished second in state. They wanted so bad to get back. But there was no last year in softball. Today they're back in the state final four, the semifinal game this morning versus Orangeville. The Tigers fell behind three to one, but came through with a big fifth inning rally. Zoe Eaton started the rally. The sophomore smashes one to the gap for a triple, and here come the Tigers. The Tigers would quickly get that run home. Ashley Axon with the RBI base hit drives home. Eaton makes it a 3-2 game. Then the big hit of the game. Leadoff hitter Addie Welsh rips one on the ground on that turf. That's going to roll all the way to the wall. That'll score the tying run. Welsh is racing to third with a fired up triple. Tie game now. Go ahead run at third. Uh, the Illini Bluffs faithful know what's coming next. Emma Hicks with an RBI hit puts IB ahead 4-3. to three. The Tigers got out of a big, big jam in the fifth inning on a great catch by Lily Hicks out there in right field. The freshman coming up with a catch with the bases loaded. They get a big insurance run here on the RBI base hit by Annabelle Fortin. That'll drive home action. A lot of heroes and how about the pitcher? Kirsten McCoy had trouble early, gave up three early runs, but that was it. The final out comes on a ground ball, and the Illini Bluffs Tigers are going to the ship, going to the state championship after a 6-3 win. I talked to Addie Welsh about that gritty comeback. Well, we had like a rough first in first few innings a little bit, but we just kept on fighting. We knew that we could come back, and that's all we were trying to do, take it one hit at a time, one base at a time, and just score runs and come back. It was a great feeling, though. You're going to the championship. How's that feel? Amazing. Looking forward to it. Want to get redemption from the past year. Looking for a win. On to the state championship game for rookie head coach Lindsey Locks. Assistant coaches Jennifer Schaefer, Bill Welsh, and this remarkable bunch of girls, many who played in the volleyball state title in 2018-2019 and the softball state title game two years ago, now playing again one of those motivated players, Addie Welsh. The Bradley recruit hits it right at the B sign out there. That'll be a triple to lead off the game for Welsh. She would score when Emma Hicks drove her in. It was quickly one zip Illini Bluffs. In the third inning, guess who? The leadoff hitter, Addie Welsh, with a base hit. She would score the second run of the game on a Kristen Graham base hit. Yeah! Kirsten McCoy pitched a great game, and wow, there were a lot of wow defensive plays. A couple of them in center field by Zoe Eaton. What a catch right here. I thought this was maybe the biggest play of the game. 2-2 in the sixth inning, bases loaded. The ball ricochets off McCoy to the shortstop, Welsh. Welsh home to Graham for the beautiful pickup and the put out at home. What a huge out that was. They get out of the inning tied at two. Then in the eighth inning, a 4-6-3 double play. Annabelle Horton to Addie Welsh, throwing it on to the first baseman, Tinley Beecham, for the great play. And then in the bottom of the eighth, they put on their rally hats. Guess who? Addie Welsh led off with a hit. She's on third when Kristen Graham delivers the walk-off winner. The Tigers win it by a score of three to two. Here's some celebration in postgame. It's unreal. I, we've wanted this for so long. Freshman year, came up in second. We finally did it. It just feels amazing. This is for the seniors last year that didn't get to play their last season. Definitely going out for them, too. This, they're a part of this team. They were there with us the entire way. They've always found a way and worked together, and I just can't say enough how proud of them I am and how proud I am to be their coach. Plays of the Week are next on Prep Rally.